Hey, Comic Book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, yes, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do another haul video. We are on Comic Book Haul Week number 169. That's right, fans. A lot of great comics coming out this week uh, that I am totally excited for. Uh, this week, I'll be able to get some decent reviews in. I'm kind of excited about it because I wasn't able to share all the Secret War stuff that was out last week the way I really wanted to. Uh, but this week I'll be able to share some more with you. But first off, let's dive into the haul. Let's see what I got this week at the comic book store. So yes, the famous bag each and every week. And if you guys are realize something different about my channel well yes I got a new logo now you guys can see uh, the logo that I have it's a little bit more modernized reminds you of, like ultimate spider-man and I gotta thank my good friend Brant Fowler uh, from comic related and zone 4 podcast for uh, making it for me so thank you Brant alright so bags on the floor let's see what I got at the store this week alright so first off it's the new Marvel Free Previews book. Uh, if you guys are cannot wait to see what um, Secret Wars has in store for you in the next couple months here, well, it's all in here. And uh, kind of laughing here, not going to lie, when I see little Marvel uh, Avengers vs. Uh, X-Men in here. And uh, I did see a uh, one picture in here for Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Uh, it's two-page spread. Check that out right there. Uh, yep, two-page spread, black and white. And I'm just like, man, I can't wait to read that. So, uh, yeah, so if you want to get some uh, uh, previews of future Secret Wars titles, go ahead and pick this up at your local store. It is for free. All right, so uh, going into the comics now. There's a few comics that I actually missed uh, that I really wanted here. And um, it was kind of... It was kind of hard to get to them. They kind of ran out. So um, I wound up getting uh, Last Days, Captain America, and the Mighty Avengers. So I wound up picking that up. Um, wound up getting Last Days, Loki, Agents of Asgard. So I wound up getting that as well uh, to see how everything went in that. And I wound up getting Last Days of Magneto as well. Again, it all kind of leads into the whole Secret Wars event. So I wanted these to have in my Secret Wars collection. Uh, just for the reason being that uh, I tend on actually getting all these Secret War books. So why not have all the Last Days of them as well. Alright, so now we go on to this week's current comics. And I was excited about this one. I, need, I actually didn't even realize this was coming out until, um, I think, yesterday. And this is Dark Horse's Fight Club 2. Uh, you know, who hasn't seen Fight Club the movie? Uh, so I had to see, I had to see, I have to, I bought this just to see what this one was going to be about. Is it as good as the movie? Uh, we go into a different Fight Club. Uh, what, what's going to happen here? I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely interested in it. I love the cover. Uh, you got the characters in there with all the pills and whatnot. So, Fight Club 2, issue uh, 1 by Dark Horse. All right, next we have um, the All Going Chew, issue number 49. One away from issue number 50. And here it has uh, Tony Chu's brother. I think it's one of his brothers uh, who is the chef. And it has Agent Pollo on there, and it looks like he's cooking him up for dinner. Agent Pollo has been kind of rotten for a while now. He's been sitting in the trash. But Chu always offers a great story for its, for its followers. And uh, if you haven't read Chu, I always suggest go out and read it in a trade. It's a great original, different type of series, and it's a lot of fun. So this is Chu issue number 49. Great Easter eggs in here, too. All right, next we go on to... The conclusion of Convergence issue number eight. Um, kind of reminds me of like Star Wars, you know. It's like Luke Skywalker holding the lightsaber and uh, it's, it's you know, flashes out or not. Whatever. Uh, the last co couple of issues of Convergence have been pretty solid. I've enjoyed them. So it'll be interesting to see how this ending will happen here in Convergence number eight. Maybe not the best event overall, but again, those last two issues have been solid and the artwork has been phenomenal in here. So this is Convergence issue number eight. All right. Next, we have a pretty cool cover. 
Uh, we have Grim Tales of Terror, issue number 11. Uh, here we can see Death on a bed, and she has rose petals. Uh, yeah, a pretty cool cover. Grim Tales of Terror always has these horrific tales. Again, reminds you of Tales from the Crypt and uh, Twilight Zone and whatnot. And, you know, you can read this from month to month, and you don't have to really understand what's going on here because they're all individual uh, self-contained story. So this is Grim Tales of Terror, issue number 11. Now guys, uh, before I go forward, just wanted to let you know, now I am part of um, Comic Amino. It's an application uh, that you can get on your phone, whether your iPhone or Galaxy or Android or whatnot. And uh, I'm under Comic Book Corner 2.0 on there. And uh, I will have exclusive content. I have polls on there. I have pictures that I take from comics on there and I will also be doing a weekly uh, cover of the week and I'll take a poll and get everyone's response on that and who they thought was their favorite comic of the week of the ones that I displayed on there so again you're gonna see exclusive content in there so again it's comic amino that's the application it's a great comic book community application there's nothing else there except comic book related stuff it's fantastic I just joined it about two three days ago and again I've been putting all kinds of exclusive content right on there that you can't find on my Facebook or Twitter or on here as well alright so going forward with the um, the haul we go forward with invincible issue number 120 great cover here um, I don't I can't it's so bloody and so gory uh, I guess that's general thrag and he's been doing battle against uh, Battle Beast, and, and for you know, I guess the civilization, or for the survival of his civilization that he's been creating. I can't wait to see what happens with this. But Invincible is a awesome, awesome book that Robert Kirkman writes, and uh, Otley that does the uh, the artwork on this. It's just it's awesome. And when you see all the bloody and gory details he puts in his pages, it's Oh my god, it's phenomenal. So this is Invincible, issue number 120. Alright, so next we have Nova, issue number 31. One of the uh, Marvel books that's not a Secret Wars tie-in. Very simplistic cover here, just Nova flying up in the air. And uh, we realize that he's been searching for his dad. He's been in contact with his dad now. And so what's going to be the purpose of this book once his the whole thing is done with his father? So we'll see what happens. So this is... Nova issue number 31. Next starts the Marvel Secret Wars tie-ins and this is where the monsters dwell issue number one. Pretty interesting cover. Uh, you see biplanes, um, big giant dinosaurs. I guess it's where the monsters dwell. I don't know. If you guys are interested to see a review on this, I'll be doing a review on the group channel Comic Frontline and uh, that will be going up today. So this is Where the Monsters Dwell, issue number one. Cool uh, uh, pterodon on there. Next is another one I'll be doing on Comic Frontline today, and that is uh, Modoc Arsenal? Assassin, sorry, Modoc Assassin, issue number one. I, I don't know what to say. This just looks weird. Um, I read the backup story in uh, Battle World, and I know a lot of people were turned off by it. I kind of laughed at it. I had a fun time with it. We'll see what Modoc Assassin brings to the table now on on, on this whole, whole Battle World Secret Wars thing. Uh, but again, I'll be doing a review on Comic Frontline with this. This is crazy. He's got cars, and then he's like in Vegas, and he's got guns. I don't know what's going on there. All right, so next we have um, Inferno. Uh, issue number one. Uh, another Secret Wars tie-in. Looking forward to seeing what this has on here. Again, it's got our characters in there. Uh, not sure what to expect here. Inferno was uh, an event that happened uh, in the early 90s. Uh, so we're going to see how it's different here. What's its magic, mystical type of nature that's going on here. So uh, this is Inferno issue number one. Really cool cover though. Um, next, we have one that probably is people are really excited about and this is the infinity gauntlet issue number one secret wars uh... right away you get to see thanos on this cover you get to see different uh... novas on this cover and you get to see peter cool star lord in here we don't know what to expect from secret wars you know it may say the infinity gauntlet 
but it's not what you really get. And it was like with Planet Hulk, uh, yes, they were on a section of Battle World that has to do with the Hulks, but it really didn't have anything to do with what happened Planet Hulk in the past. So interesting stuff of what's going to happen, hopefully, with Infinity Gauntlet, and this is issue number one. All right, next we have uh, Battle World Inhumans Atelian Rising. Uh, this is issue one. Love the cover here. I love how the Inhumans... Uh, logo comes out at you and Medusa's hair is just in the background all wild and crazy uh, again another title don't know what to expect at this point with Secret Wars uh, but I've been taking these these titles with uh, open eyes and, and really enjoying them for what they are trying not to overthink things here so this is Inhumans Atelian Rising issue number one all right Next, we have Battle World Secret Wars Journal number one. Uh, again, I don't know who this is on the cover. Maybe it's a Katie Bishop. Uh, I'm not sure. Not you know. I don't know if it takes place in a, a previous time period. Uh, and they're taking a journal. I, who knows? But this is Secret World's Journal issue number one. Now, I wasn't crazy about that cover, so I had to pick up a second copy of Secret World's Journal number one. But you couldn't go wrong with the Mr. Fantastic action figure variant. This is badass. He's sporting the beard, which I love. And you can see that he's packaged with a um, long arm and then, you know, the short arm. Now, when you look at the character closely, hopefully the camera focuses in, it's like a bendy straw. I mean, you literally can sit there and pull the guy's arm up and down. Same with his legs. Dude, where was this character in the 80s? That's freaking great. I would have loved to have him. And that's why I had to pick up this variant cover because it's such a cool concept. They, never, they really need to create this. So this is Secret Wars Mr. Fantastic and his secret shield. Super stretching scientist battle for good. I don't know, number one. <laughs> All right, and next we have the Secret Wars 2099 Variant Edition. Uh, I love this cover. It, it's got the Captain America 2099 on there, uh, Iron Man, and uh, I'm not sure who, who that is. But, uh, again, 2099 characters. Looking forward to reading this one. Not sure what to expect here, but, uh, again, I'm excited for all these books. And then last but not least, I think a lot of people are really looking forward to this one. And I bought the variant cover on this book, and this is... Uh, Old Man Logan uh, issue number one variant cover. Uh, this cover is gorgeous. I had to get this one. This one is awesome. I put the, the original one back and bought this one. This was probably one of my favorite covers of the week. Personally, again, I will be on Comic Amino uh, doing a poll of putting up my top covers of the week. I will vote on my favorite, and then all you guys can vote on what your favorite was. So looking forward to doing that. So, guys, there you have it. There is the comic book haul for the week. Everyone in the comments below, tell me what comics you got for this week. Which ones you're most excited for? Are you done with Secret Wars already? Um, are you over the whole DC thing? I didn't get any DC stuff. I just got the Convergence thing. But next week, we're going to get a whole mixed bag of stuff. So, uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So, stay tuned for those reviews on Comic Frontline. Stay tuned for some reviews right here on Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, as always, thank you for watching. And until that next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.